So you're trying to find companies you liked anyway. Right now you liked them, and now they've had a haircut. Mm -hmm. That's what you would do. You're not, not a stock that went from overpriced to fairly priced. Something that was fairly priced at the start of this exercise, and then had a very, you know, a five for four sale. You know. Mitch is highly regarded as one of Wall Street's legendary money managers. He ran Fidelity's Magellan Fund from 77 to 90. At the end of his 13-year helm, it was up over 2,700 percent and had become the world's largest mutual fund. He remains on the board of trustees at the Fidelity Group and is vice chairman of Fidelity Management and Research. His new <laughs> CD-ROM uh, is called The Stock Shop with Peter Lynch and its strategies to invest in the stock market with confidence. All the profits for this go to charity, I think. He joins me now to talk about the remarkable record volume day on Wall Street and other matters of investing. And I am very pleased to have him back at this table. Welcome back. Hey, Charlie, good to see you. Now, smart of me, smart of me to schedule <laughs> you ago. on a day like this. Three months ago, I said, when do you want Lynch to come in? Right. I said, let's get him on Tuesday. Something's gonna happen in the market that week, and so here we are. Glad to be here. Explain to me what's going on. Well, we had a huge run. I mean, the market was 4,000 just you know, two and a half years ago, yeah. and it ran up to 8,300 in August. And, you know, like any big rally, sometimes it backs off. I mean, it's healthy. In fact, I mean, I'd rather have gone down 1,000 points than gone to 12,000. If you look at Japan, Japan went from 5,000 to 15,000 on their Dow, and it was fairly priced at 15,000 on earnings and everything else. Mm -hmm. Then it went to 40,000, and that caused seven years of inflated real estate, people overspending, and basically, they've been in a recession for five or six years because their market went up too high. I mean, if the market goes up too high, I mean, if, if the market goes too high, you're, you're discounting earnings seven, eight, ten years out. There's a relationship. So everything is overpriced. Yeah, and that doesn't help anything. The market since World War II has sold between 10 times earnings and 20 times earnings. If you look at the Dow Jones or the S&P 500, if you add up all the companies and take the earnings, you say there's a relationship. And it follows. McDonald's earnings have been terrific the last 30 years, and the stock's been terrific. There's a direct relationship. So the earnings of the S&P 500 have been between this range of 10 and 20. We were just about to go over the 20, which is the high end of the PE range. There wasn't a lot of so room left on the PE. So PE of 20 is, too, is, is at the it's top peak. of how high it should ever be. Right. It's been over there only a few times ever over 20. And that's yeah. when usually inflation is about zero. In the early 60s, when inflation was about zero, we got a little bit over 20. Now we have a very low inflation rate. So if you usually have subtracted inflation from 20, you've had the PE of the market. That's been a pretty good ratio. When inflation was 12%, you remember in the early 80s, we had an 8 or 9 PE yeah. of the market. So Dr. Lynch says all of this has been good for us? Well, like I'm a, telling you, it would not like have been a, helpful. It's, it's like a purgative or something. I never thought I'd ever wish for the market to you know, not go up dramatically. But well, let's, just, let's argue the market went to 16000 tomorrow. Yeah. Basically, there is earnings behind companies. Okay, but I'm not arguing that. I know that's true. I mean, and that would earning, be crazy. And, yeah. and stock market Unhealthy. price ought to be dictated by earnings and Absolutely. earnings performance and future earnings potential. That's right? right. That's right. I got that. Even I got that. Right. Now, let's just take this for me. Sure. Uh, was the decline yesterday, in a sense, it let off some of this overvaluation. The market right, was even right. overvalued at where it was. Right. And by letting it off, right. then we got